Of the United Democratic Party's newly elected Lato Kunazabi National Assembly member Yaya Menteng Sanyang has vowed not to collect any form of bribery from the Gambian leader Adam Obaro. Honorable Sanyang says he has built a fence between him and the alleged bribery coming from the Gambian leader. Alma Fujisisi has the rest of that in this report. Gambians living at home and abroad raised concern when President Adam Obaro made dramatic revelations about bribing the former National Assembly members. The UDP's Yaya Sanyang, a civil engineer turned politician, has this to say. First of all, uh, let's be very clear. Uh, Gambians did not lose uh, uh, trust on the previous National Assembly. It was only the few uh, that people uh, lost trust on and that those few uh, already voted out from this National Assembly. The integrity of that National Assembly has been maintained by uh, few of them. It's only few of them who uh, were bribed by Adam Abaro. Uh, Adam Abaro said right away in one of his interviews that he bribed them $10,000. So let's not try to generalize it on the entire National Assembly member, members rather uh, in the last legislation. Some of them maintained their integrity and moral and rejected whatever enticement Adam Abaro uh, gave them. It was only the few uh, misguided who took such bribes and threw away many national interests because of the personal interests of Adam Abaro. So let's make that point very, very clear. However, the recent government announcement that all National Assembly members will be allocated a brand new vehicle and a monthly salary of $80,000 triggers fears in the hearts and minds of the electorates that it might be the same tricks of President Adam Baro to corrupt the newly elected members since the majority of whom are average or poor people. But the Latri Kunda Sabiji Nam has a different take on this. I am not accepting any bribe from Adama Barrow. I am only there for the interests of the country. That is why they said National Assembly members are going to be given brand new uh, uh, Prado. My question was, is it coming from Adam Barrow? But uh, fortunately, it's not coming from him. If it is coming from Adam Barrow, even he give me an aeroplane, I'm not taking it. Yeah, so therefore, I already built a fence or block uh, between whatever bribe Adam Barrow has for all the National Assembly members. And if he we advance any bribe to National Assembly members, I'll put, I'll put impeachment motion on the table. The role of the National Assembly members is to formulate laws and advocate for crucial development within their various constituencies. The first-time lawmaker also speaks to us about his priorities. My priorities for my people is to uh, help them uh, improve their infrastructures, uh, water, electricity, women, gardeners in Abuko, and uh, some feeder roads in Fajikunda, these are going to be my priorities that I'm going to take up the Minister of uh, Works and National Roads Authority. For the entire Gambia, my priority will be uh, to remove the bad laws from our law books. The Public Order Act is one of the bad laws that sent Usain Dawood to prison, that sent Fallon to prison, that, that is why Solo Sander was killed, that, that is why many good Gambians disappeared. I'm going to make sure I legislate against that and to remove from our law book. Also, we all know our constitution is right now lying in the cold store and it, we have spent millions, millions of dollars during that national process. So my priority also is going to be how to bring that draft constitution back to the National Assembly. The question is whether the newly elected National Assembly members will be able to stand the heat of rejecting bribes will be future scrutiny. For iAfrica TV, I am Mafo Yesise.